Okay. Be honest with me, Veronica. We're lost, right? Define lost. Lost as in, we don't really know where we are. I know, we're in North America. Ugh. And I have a map and the stars. And you know where just from that? No problem. Hmm. See the Big Dipper? Yeah, that's easy, it's right there. Good. The Big Dipper is one of the constellations. Oh, okay, I've heard of constellations. They're like when stars make pictures in the sky, right? With a little imagination, yes. Astronomers use those pictures to identify different regions of the night sky. The Big Dipper is actually one part of a larger constellation called Ursa Major, the Great Bear. Oh, cool. I can actually kind of picture it. Now, the Big Dipper is a guidepost for travelers. It can tell you a lot about where and when you are. Oh, yeah. I've heard a lot about navigating by the stars, so I get where, but how does that tell you when? As the Earth rotates, the stars appear to move through the night sky, so you can use them like a clock, if you know the date. See how there's a bowl and a handle? Yes. The two stars that form the part of the bowl facing away from the handle act like a clock. At midnight in early September, the bowl faces up, and those two stars point straight up. Oh, so it's like pointing to 12 on the clock. Yes, but this clock runs backwards, and it runs on a 24-hour clock instead of 12. Ah, uh, you lost me just a little bit there. No worries. You have to imagine the clock running all day and all night. So there are 24 numbers on it instead of 12. Mm -hmm. And the numbers run counterclockwise on the clock face. Oh, okay, okay, I think I get it now. But what if it's not early September? Ah. Uh, as the Earth revolves around the sun, the stars appear to move through the night sky. So the day and year make the stars move. That means you have to make a correction for every month of the year. Well, how much of a correction? Well, think about it. There are 12 months in a year mm -hmm. and 24 hours in a day. Mm -hmm. So the correction is about two hours per month. For every month before September, add two hours. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Let me try. So right now the stars are pointing to about 3 p.m., but it's early June, so that's three months before September. So I add two hours times three, six hours. So it's about 9 p.m., right? But you may have to take daylight savings time into account, so it's about 10 p.m. for us. Oh. oh, cool. So I'm only a couple minutes off. But wait, I already know the time. I have a watch. Oh yeah, if your watch is set to Greenwich time and you read the local time from the stars, mm -hmm. you can determine longitude. Oh, longitude is distance east or west of Greenwich, right? You got it. Those same two stars point to the North Star. Just take the distance between them and follow it five times that distance to a bright star. That's the North Star. Okay, so north is good, but I still don't know exactly where we are. Patience. When you're at the equator, the North Star lies on the horizon at zero degrees latitude. Uh -huh. When you're at the North Pole, the North Star is overhead at 90 degrees latitude. The angle of the North Star in the sky tells you your latitude. If only I had my protractor. I have a trick. Okay. Hold your closed fist straight out in front of you toward the horizon. Uh -huh. Now carefully stack your fists on top of one another until you reach the North Star. Count each fist as roughly 10 degrees. Okay, so actually I get about three and a half fists or 35 degrees. You see, by reading the stars, we can determine our position, longitude and latitude. Then we take our handy dandy map mm -hmm. and we're right about here. Hmm. With precision instruments, we could take better measurements, uh -huh. and we could pinpoint ourselves accurately enough to determine exactly where we are. But wait, you don't know exactly where we are? Oh, I know where we are. Huh? I have a GPS. What? We're right here. Well, why didn't you say that earlier? You asked me if we were lost. You didn't ask me how I knew where we were. 